Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Mining Insider YouTube channel. Today we have some huge news for you. NiceHash has now added the ability to do mining for Zelle Hash as well as Auto Lycos directly within the NiceHash miner. So now I have the ability to mine coins like Flux and Ergo and get paid in Bitcoin. I don't have to worry about any custom configurations or special wallets. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. Looking at the blog post on NiceHash dated March 4th of 2022, Zellhash and Autolycos are now fully supported in the NiceHash miner. Dear NiceHash miners, as some of you may have already noticed, Zellhash and Autolycos algorithms are now fully supported in the NiceHash miner 3.7.0 and above. And that's really important. So if you're using a version prior to that, I'll show you here, you may see for the algorithms, like I'm looking at MB Miner, rather than seeing an algorithm here, I'm seeing NA as well as some for LOL Miner and it's showing NA, NA. And that's because you're not using those latest version 3.70. I'm currently looking at 3.69. So the ability to do Zell Hash Flux as well as Auto Lycos is not supported in those pre 3.70 miners. But getting back to our article, if you do not see the algorithms in your GPU that should support it, make sure you have at least one of the plugins with Zell Hash and Auto Lycos supported. You can check your Nice Hash Miner in the settings and about tab. So we've just covered that and you want to make sure that at least you're working with 3.70 as well as you want to have the LOL Miner and NB Miner enabled so that you'll be able to now do this mining. Reading further in the blog, you'll see there's some information about mining Auto Lycos as well as there's a link for a video, the latest Nice Hash talk with David Keller from Flux. This is a really great video. If you're not familiar with the Flux, definitely watch this video. It gives a little bit about the Flux project and its commitment to be remain ASIC resistant going forward. And to me as a GPU miner, it's really important because if a lot of companies start just throwing a lot of ASICs at this, you know, we know that the difficulty will definitely rise. Profitability will go down, but they have a big commitment to that as well as the ability to do some code altering to keep ASICs off line in that. And another thing that's very special about the Flux project is that they are actually at NVIDIA. They are premier partner with NVIDIA. So now, wow, you have a mining pool or I guess you have GPU mining for Flux now. They are premier vendor or premier partner now with NVIDIA. So that just shows that they have some great relationship going on. And hopefully we'll be able to see that even go further in the future. I'm really, really excited that now for the first time, I can actually mine these coins directly within NiceHash. So let me get my miner updated on my computer and let me show you how I'm doing it. Jumping over to the NiceHash miner, I currently have version 3.069 installed and that version will not support the new mining for Ergo Auto Lycos as well as Zellhash. So it's easily fixed. I'm going to go to GitHub and I am going to be downloading a newer version of the NiceHash miner, except I'm going to be personally choosing to skip 3.071 because in that version, they've actually done some other minor plugin pulls. So they've actually removed the T-Rex miner plugin. And as you know, on our channel, I have the T-Rex miner plugin adapter. So if you like using the T-Rex miner, don't download this latest version because it will not work with the T-Rex miner plugin. I'm going to go to the previous version 3.70. I'm going to just download this zip package and I'm going to install this miner and then I should be all set to be able to start mining Ergo as well as Flux right within the NiceHash miner. I opened up MSI Afterburner and I just put in some really rough overclock settings. So I'm using 75% power limit plus 1000 is my memory clock offset as well as minus 200 is my core clock adjustment. And this is just kind of just a general what I would use maybe something similar for Ethereum. Again, this is just quick slapstick just to get some basic overclocking in. And now I've only have the Auto Lycos as well as Zell Hash algorithms enabled in the benchmark tab. So I'm going to start this computer benchmarking. I'm recording on this computer that I'm doing the benchmark. I'm going to be doing the test. So I'm not going to be getting the high full efficiency hash rate out of the cards. I've left this benchmark and I've noticed then NB Miner just started up afterwards and it is mining on my full hash RTX 3080. It is mining me 166, 165 mega hash mining Auto Lycos directly now within the nice hash miner. So this is very, very exciting. I see though too for the LOL miner, it 
failed the benchmarks, but I could always click into these settings just to do override. But it came back with some results for the auto Lycos for NB minor. If I go to my devices, I can see NB minor. It is showing auto Lycos at 0 0.016 giga hash. And if I turn over to NiceHash web browser, I see my test PC. It's recognizing auto Lycos and it's giving me some hash rate for that. So that's great. Now we have the ability to mine coins like Ergo directly within the NiceHash miner. This is such a huge step forward for us as miners. The more we have ability to mine other altcoins, especially with the mining revenue of Ethereum dwindling and coming down a lot, I think the better we'll be. And I think this really helps solidify NiceHash's uh, future in GPU mining because being able to now have ergo and flux in their mix i would love for them to be able to add the ability for them to us to be able to do ton as well as alifia mining in the future that would be a, such a huge victory for us not to have to worry about just limiting to one coin because profitability changes day to day moment to moment but at least to be able to mine something and get that payback now i'm mining ergo but i'm going to be paid in bitcoin so to me that's a huge win Switching over to Zell Hash, which is flux mining in NiceHash. Originally, it failed the benchmark test. I'm going to go into my benchmarks tab for the LOL miner, and I just came in, clicked on that gear setting, and I can just put in my hash rate as well as the power, and that should skip and bypass the benchmark process completely because NiceHash often fails benchmarks, but I still want to mine the coin. I don't want to be limited by their faulty logic in the benchmarking. So once that's done, I can just click on dashboard and I'm just gonna start the miner. LOL miner 1.35, it is mining right now onto the nice hash stratum. I see it's using the correct wallet. And I am successfully mining Zell Hash. So I'm mining Flux natively within the Nice Hash Miner. And this is extremely exciting because now I just have the ability to add mining Ergo as well as Flux right within the Nice Hash Miner, giving me more potential for higher mining profits going forward. I see my first status message come up. I see I am mining 34 souls. So wow, that's really low. I should probably be around 80 souls. But again, I'm recording on this computer. I have webcams, microphones and stuff. So I expect that I'm going to be lower. But uh, I just wanted to kind of show the point that I can mine Flux right within NiceHash. Now, while that keeps mining, if you want to get an idea for some of the overclock settings, Flux is a more core intensive algorithm than Ethereum. So Ethereum is always memory intensive. Flux, however, would still be memory, but also on the core clock. So there's actually a website. I'm going to send you a link for this. And it's for some guidance, just for some overclock settings and results. And it has a lot of different cards, everything ranging from 1050 TIs all the way down through many, many, many cards. So I'll be putting a link down below. And that gives for different miners, everything from Mini Z, from LOL Miner. It just gives some experience that people have gotten with some of the overclock settings. And hopefully this gives some insight or guidance to maybe for you to get the ideal overclocks for your cars going forward. Now for the Ergo, I generally try to stay very, very close to my same Ethereum overclocks that I'm using. However, some cards seem to be limited with the LHR on the Ergo mining. So oftentimes I'll have to tune down the memory overclock sometimes to get around that, as well as some of the other miners will have workarounds with LHR for Ergo. But we're going to be picking up some more of the overclocks for Ergo, as well as mining flux now within NiceHash in future videos. I'm really excited to be able to share this update with you that we have two more algorithms that now we can mine natively within the NiceHash miner. We have Auto Lycos, which is Ergo, as well as Zell Hash, which is Flux. So to me, that's a huge game changer because now we have more coins to be able to mine and get paid out in Bitcoin, regardless of what we're mining. I hope NiceHash continues this momentum and maybe they start adopting other coins like Toncoin as well as Alephium to mine. That would be absolutely fantastic because I can dual mine them and get even higher profits. And it's great to be able to have more options to mine, especially who knows when Ethereum turns proof of stake. It's planned for sometimes this year, but I guess only time will tell. And we know our Ethereum mining revenue is definitely lower as a time with the coin prices. So the ability to have more coins to mine hopefully gives us more mining options going forward. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like, smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already to be notified of future video updates as well as show your support for our channel we welcome all your questions and comments please put them down below until next time we'll see you on the next video happy mining